Hey guys, Merry Christmas Eve. My name is Gabby and today I'm gonna be filming my December book haul and in December I bought a lot of books for myself. Technically a lot of these books did come from like Cyber Monday time so I got a lot of these books at a really discounted price but still I did get a lot of books for myself this month so let's just jump into all the things I got. So the first three books I'm gonna show you are all of my book of the month selections as usual. This is the first month ever that I've read all three of my book of the month selections that I picked during the month. So I have read all of these books this month. My first one is gonna be One Day in December by Joe Silver. This is a contemporary romance that takes place around Christmas time. The next one is An Anonymous Girl by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pakanen, and this one is an adult thriller. It's about like a psychologist that becomes obsessed with her patient. And then lastly we have No Exit by Taylor Adams. This one is a thriller novel that follows this girl that gets stuck in a blizzard and then she sees this little girl trapped in an animal cage in the back of a van and then she's trapped at this rest stop with a couple of other adults and one of them is a kidnapper. It's really intense. All right, the next books I have to show you are from Berkeley and they're both ARCs that are coming out in January. First one is The Liar's Room by Simon Lelick and this one is an adult thriller. This one comes out January 15th and this one is also one that I read during the month of December. It basically is about this therapist who's in the room with one of her patients and most of the story takes place during this therapy session and then we get a bunch of like flashbacks of things that have happened in their lives and it's really intense. The next one Berkeley sent me is The Suspect by Fiona Barton and this one comes out January 22nd. I haven't actually read any Fiona Barton yet but I really want to read this book soon. This one is another adult thriller. It's about two 18 year old girls that go missing in Thailand and then it follows a journalist who is like tracking down the story and stuff and I really want to read this one in January. The next book I have is from Howard Books and Atria Books and it's an arc and that is The Line Between by Tosca Lee and the top of the blurb little says right here it says an extinct disease re-emerges from the melting Alaskan permafrost to cause madness in its victims for recent apocalypse cult escapee Winter Roth it's the end she's always been told was coming. Yeah so this one takes place during an apocalypse and I think the reason I said yes to this is because it takes place in Alaska. Alaska. I love books that take place in Alaska. The next book I have is from Penguin Random House and that is The Adult by Caroline Pulse and this one is about a, a couple who no longer wants to be together but they have a daughter and so they decide to spend the holidays all together. I didn't actually realize that this one does take place during the holidays so I feel like this would have been a good book to read this month had I realized that. <laughs> Atria Books sent me a hardcover final copy of Watching You by Lisa Jewell and this is one that I read in October. This one is an adult thriller and it's a book I really really enjoyed. I love Lisa Jewell and this one is just about all the all these different people living in the same neighborhood and there's like a lot of secrets within this neighborhood and it's so good. So thank you to Atria for sending me this final copy. The last book that I got sent this month was from Berkeley's Romance Bookstagram program and that is Out of Time by Monica McCarty. This is like a mass market paperback romance book and this one comes out December 31st and this one follows like a team of navy seals who go on a mission and disappear without a trace. So it follows like the guy that's like the lieutenant of the secret op mission in Russia and then it follows this girl who was born in Russia and she has to like leave it behind. So thank you to Berkeley for this one. Now we get into the books that I bought. So first three I'm gonna show you are ones that I bought off of Amazon. So the first one is gonna be Verity by Colleen Hoover. And this one is a psychological thriller from Colleen Hoover. Like some people say this is like a romantic suspense novel, but I wouldn't really classify this one as a romance. It honestly feels more of a psychological thriller to me with a little bit of romance. The next one I got is The Chase by L. Kennedy. This is also one one that I read this month and this is a new adult college sports romance. A spinoff from the off-campus series. It follows like the same characters but like they're friends of those characters so it's like a hockey romance. And then the last book I got is Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. This one is on so many people's best of the year list and I honestly can't wait to read this book and I got it because it's been hyped non-stop and I really don't have any idea what it's about. I know it's about this like marsh girl back in the day in 1969 
yeah, I don't really know anything about it, and I don't think I want to know too much before I jump into this, but this one was also one of Reese Witherspoon's book club picks, so that also makes me interested in reading this, so I can't wait to read this. This is at the top of my 2019 TBR. All right, and the last books I got were all part of a book outlet sale on Cyber Monday, and it is this stack of like 10 books right here. The first one I got is Reasons to Stay Alive by Matt Haig. I got this one because Matt Haig is the author of my favorite book of the year, The Humans, and I wanted to read more of him, but this is his memoir about like when he was going to commit suicide, and this is his like Reasons to Stay Alive. Like it's probably a really beautiful ass book and I want to read this one soon. The next one I got is The Perfect Nanny. This one's a thriller that everybody says is so creepy. I think it's actually a horror novel maybe and it's so short and oh my god like I need to read this immediately. The next one I got is The Marriage Pact by Michelle Richmond. This one is a thriller. I don't know much about it. The next one I got is Other People's Houses. This one is like a contemporary novel about this girl finding out that her husband's cheating on her. But this was a book of the month pick a couple months ago and I thought it was so cute and I was about to pick it and then I picked something else. And so now I got it. The next one is My Name is Leon. And this one is from the point of view of Leon who's nine years old and he has a baby brother named Jake who's born. He's determined to protect him. And I don't really know what exactly this book is about, but everybody says it's really sad. So I love this cover though. Oh. All right, the next one is The Names They Gave Us by Emery Lord. This is a young adult contemporary novel that I have heard nothing but good things about, which is mainly the reason why I got it because I'm not super interested in young adult books anymore, but this one does sound interesting-ish. Next one I got is When the Moon Was Ours, and I honestly can't remember for the life of me what this is about. This cover though is fucking beautiful. The next one I have is one that I'm really excited about, and that's Every Note Played by Lisa Genova. This is the same author as Still Alice, which I haven't actually read yet, but I really love the movie. <laughs> this one follows this man who's a musician who has ALS. Like, oh my god, I really want to read this one soon. Like, this is also at the top of my 2019 TBR. And the next one I have is also one that I'm really excited to read soon, and that's Sometimes I Lie by Alice Feeney. And this one is an adult thriller about this, like, woman who's in a coma, and she's, like, like spying on her husband, I think. Like, I don't really know what it's about, but oh my god, I've seen this book on everyone's, like, favorite thrillers lists, and I'm just so excited to read this one. And it's pretty short. I cannot wait to read this one. And then the last one I got is Good Me, Bad Me by Allie Land. This is another thriller. All I know about this one is that it's... It follows this girl who her mom is a serial killer and that's pretty much all you need to tell me for me to be very interested in reading this so so yeah book outlet was having some amazing deals on cyber monday like i got all 10 of those books for like under 30 dollars those are all of the books that i got in the month of december i know today is christmas eve and tomorrow's christmas so i'm probably going to be getting more books then but you know I needed to get this video out today, I just- it needed to happen, you know? <laughs> and all of the books that I receive on Christmas, if I receive any books on Christmas, are gonna be mentioned in my January book haul, and next month is my birthday, so there's probably gonna be a lot of other books in January. Have you read any of these books that I mentioned? And if you have, then what are your thoughts on them? What do you recommend that I read first out of my hauls that I got for myself? Thank you guys for watching as always. I hope you have a happy and safe Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. And thank you so much for watching as always. I will see you guys next time.